and we are here uh, talking about what's going on in the world of celebrity and entertainment. What's and going also on? About entertainment. Everything, of course. Yeah, what's going on? Right, and what's the number, Donna? 410-481-1010 or 1-877-704-1010. And we invite folks to call on air. There's a lot of things that have been going on in the last uh, Such as? Week. A lot of different things. Have you heard about Whitney Houston? Oh, yeah, she got kicked off a plane or was going to get kicked off a Delta flight. Well, this is what I heard. I That's mean, what it's, I heard. it's the new thing everybody's talking and about. And she was high and her hair was sideways or something. She was looking all jacked up, you yeah, know. Pretty much. We, we love Whitney. We really do love Whitney. I just Whitney. wish she'd just get off the drugs. Well, well we don't know if she's on the they drugs. They said she was sweating profusely on Maybe a cold she plane. Was nervous. Oh, come know. on. Why would Whitney used to be nervous about being on a plane? Maybe she uh, had How many a bad dream the night before. I don't know. Taking? She's taking a million of them. Let me okay. read a story. Okay, uh, let's you. see. Um yeah. Multiple sources tell us Whitney boarded a flight in Atlanta Wednesday afternoon. Yeah. And when she settled into her seat, a crew member asked her to buckle up. And she said no. Well, we're told Whitney refused and got all diva on the crew and member. And what does diva mean? Are you a diva? You're a diva, aren't you? You are definitely a diva. You definitely got the whole diva thing of going I do. on. Yeah, of course I do. You're a diva. diva. Um, but I can drive an Altima because I need to get to, to the radio station. So I'm not that <laughs> yeah, much not, of a diva. But that's not your normal car now, is it? Uh, no, it's not. No, but it's not. I will drive it to get to where I need to go. What's a diva to you? Someone that can handle their business. A, a female, obviously. Yes. Who can handle their business. Yes. Who is talented, of course. Of talented. So just being... Um, being a smart, a smart, a smart, attractive. No, no, no. What I'm saying, a woman who's savvy. Just, okay, so can any woman be a diva? You know, I read a blog a couple weeks uh -oh, ago. Oh, here we go. He's reading. No, be no, scared, no. everyone. No, I read a blog <laughs> that was talking about the fact that a lot of our more larger women in our community have this whole diva attitude. Okay, you could be big and be a diva. Yeah, but I thought being a diva meant you had some kind of a marketable mean? talent other than just being big and black. Okay. And having an attitude. Boy, you hear that, you guys? Hey, that's what it is, <laughs> all right? Black. Just because you're big and black and have an attitude doesn't and you're mean female you're does not mean you're diva. I do <laughs> believe that you should be able to at least sing or <laughs> act do something. or do something to be a diva. Well, because you walk around and in your head you're a diva. In your head you're, you're, a a diva. you're a diva. Okay, even though you have no marketable talent. No talent at all. You could be than, a mental diva. Uh, okay, other than sucking on a chicken bone. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I went there. That's right, I went there. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> You're a diva because, because I'm Donna. you're Donna Briggs. There That's you go. Right. You're See? Donna Briggs. You I wonder what folks have to say about being a diva. Diva. I think you're a guy diva. Is I'm that a metrosexual something diva? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I am not a metrosexual what, baby. What did I say? I, I didn't say homosexual. I said I, metrosexual. No, because that implies being soft, and I'm 100% man. I didn't say man. you're soft. I just said you're a metrosexual. 100% of the time. What's wrong with metrosexual? Metrosexual, man. That, that means you got the whole, you know, GQ thing going. Do I look fly? Am I good looking? Absolutely. Okay, that means you're metrosexual. No, it does not. Do I care about my parents, I do, but metrosexual, as we know, implies that one has a little is is a in little, touch. Uh, no, no, is sugar in, in their loafers. <laughs> is in touch with their feminine side, and that's just not. Well, well you're not in touch with your feminine no, side. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No. So what's wrong with that? I'm a little. I can be emotional. You whatever, can be, but I'm not a metrosexual. I don't. Oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not claiming that I thought that you system. were. Well. Story says it says a few days ago, R&B superstar Rihanna, yeah, uh, gave a trademark edgy performance on the London leg of her tour. But perhaps this time, even the not-so-shy entertainer pushed the envelope a bit too far when she allegedly placed, uh, excuse me, folks, two fingers in her private area while really? on stage. Um, That's not good. Yeah. See, question, do you think what she did was appropriate? It's her video. She can do what she wants. It's about, my no, party. No, I baby. can do what I want to. I'm talking about her being on stage this time. and. Well, okay, did you pay to get the tickets? Funky. Did you get the tickets? Okay, yes, I Okay, did. so you already know what type of person this is. Not necessarily true. Oh, come on. You, you already know, said she was getting out of hand. Donna, check it out. Let's say that I have, for example, a 15, 16... I wouldn't bring my child to see that. She's X-rated. No, no, wait a minute now. Hold on. All right, let's say I'm a parent. Okay. okay. You are have, a parent. I am. But let's say I'm a parent of maybe like a 13 or 14-year-old little girl, and they love Rihanna. Now, all I've seen kind of like... Peripherally, I see some of her videos mm -hmm. here and there, and they're not X-rated. And they're risque. They're risque. But she's, they're not X-rated. They're not X-rated, no. Okay. 
and you uh, and, and, and I say, all right, okay, kids, we're going to treat you guys to this concert. Okay? <laughs> no, I'm not treating my kid to that. Okay, I'm just saying, a lot of parents may be a little bit mm. clueless about what Rihanna does and how she gets Don't down. you think Google is appropriate? You should Google this person before you take your kid to a concert? Donna, I don't think anybody's ever seen her insert fingers inside of herself on oh. any of her videos, okay? And that's what she's been accused of doing. So, oh, well, that's kind of dramatic. That's the, well, that's what she did. <laughs> so the question is, is that appropriate? And, well, no, and who it's do you not blame? appropriate. And who do you blame? I blame the parents. I blame Rihanna. I don't blame I think Rihanna. Get, I think she's getting out of control. <laughs> What she, but she has paying customers, and, and, and I think that yes. she has a certain responsibility to act appropriately. Now, don't get me wrong. We push the envelope for for our entertainers. That's what entertainers do. They yes. push the envelope. They push the envelope. Right. Next, you'll be, well, Alanis Morissette took one of our tampons out and threw it oh, into the audience. Good God almighty. Yeah, that's, you don't you think that's kind of dramatic? Yikes. I don't want people out there to think that we're always constantly hitting on our black females and our black female celebrities, but... but they are dropping the ball, folks. All right? Our and they're are... turning to hoes. Ooh, boy. I didn't say that. And folks, I said that. it. I didn't say I it. I said it. Donna you said, said it. it. A black woman said it. What I didn't say it. Well, like I said, I was thinking it, the but entertainment I industry it. wants you to be a hoe. They want That's you to what be they a want. Hoe. Or act like without any kind of morals. Well, I mean, no morals. Because, really, I mean, Fantasia no. doesn't act like a hoe. She's just. But she did, she did exhibit some hoeish behavior. All right? I don't know if well, some I mean, less than a, a less than desirable uh, baby well, having a she... baby out of wedlock with a married guy. Well, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, okay, now, her grandmother's point... not a good role model. She's older. Okay, and her grandmother her grandmother church, sanctioned right? all this. And her grandmother. Her grandmother to be in the is a preacher She's at a, a church preacher, and has her right? own church. And that's something. Hey, my grandmother, my daughter's granddaughter's pregnant by a married guy. It's okay. That's uh, okay. Well. The question is, <laughs> folks, who are listening? The where do you is, draw the line? Where do you draw the line? A. And the question is. Are black celebrities pre presenting bad images for black women, A, okay, and B, for themselves? Ooh, let's get it poppin'. I'm a real voice, bitch. Ooh, Gazelle the Blanco got the best blow in town. Ooh, the head honcho, the snow kill clone. Ooh, I be dying. these bitches is kinda slow. Ooh, I love the cash, niggas rapping like baby. Ooh, that mean they trash, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the game is for a five. Me and Wayne got on the same jeans. Ooh, something wrong. I mean, what's going on with these black celebrity, female celebrities? I keep trying to tell you, the bar is different now. I'm not okay. saying it's higher. But is it acceptable, Donna? Do it's acceptable in an entertainment business because that's what they want. If you want to make it, they said, if you want to be a superstar, you have to be a hoe. You have to be a hoe. But that's, but hold on, but the question is, wait. But she didn't, doesn't, Fantasia doesn't act like a hoe on stage. But her lifestyle dictates hoism. Hoism. We is that gonna a coin word? that word. Hoism. Hoism. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> that is a coin. Hey, look, I see we got a call. Sandra, give us some, uh, hey, Sandra. give us some good hello, stuff. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Hi. How you doing, sister? Okay. Um, listen, don't be too hard on Fantasia. I will give her an A for teaching herself how to read. Uh, absolutely, and we okay. applaud her for that. Absolutely, we I do. Think that, I don't think she's a whore so much. I think she's just, I think she's in denial with herself. Okay. Sometimes people feel like they're, they're not worthy of finding a man to compliment them. Right. That's true. So I think that she's doing what she only know best. Okay. So give her a chance to grow. She's still growing. Okay. Don't put her down too much, because you know what? You never hear white men classify their women as whores. Right. And they can be as trashy and whores if they want to. Well, that's the norm. But, Sandra, I do. I, you know, I okay. call them like a scene. And you know what? Okay, <laughs> also, you can't compare. Is that a cop-out, Sandra? Huh? Is that a cop-out? Are you, are you just yeah, making excuses? I know, I know. I mean, are, you, are you excusing her behavior, Sandra, really? No, 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 but I'm not going to put her down, though. But, but hold on Is there, it okay Sandra. for her to act like that? Because I'm a sister. I, oh, but hold on, on. Wait a minute, Let's Sandra. Just take the call out get, of it. But Sandra, now, are you giving her a pass because she's black? Yeah, if you, no, know, no, about us, no, you don't give nobody no, a pass, no, Sandra. No, she give herself a pass. No, I mean, but are you no, giving her a pass? Are you giving her a pass? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Right, thank I'm, you. I'm, Sandra, thanks a lot for your call. We appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you, sister. 
Cyber's too nice. She is very nice. She's very forgiving. I'm not buying it. All right. <laughs> but look, get Wait, back, get back to uh, uh to, to you know, because we have a little common theme here, again. Yes. And that's about black women representing themselves out here in the media. Yes, but you and our take... little girls are our, our little girls taking them. You know, and they're following. Our, and they're following them. Oh, oh my gosh. What's the girl? Oh, God, I'm having a mental block. What's the girl, the new rapper with the big butt? You mean Nicki Minaj? Nicki Minaj. Okay, now check this out. I saw this on Ellen, Ellen yesterday. Ellen on Ellen okay. Jurors. Okay. We can talk about that too, but we're not going to talk what about Ellen. She, she, no, 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 no. Check this out. There was this clip of these two little girls, okay, who were doing it. And they're talking about little, like four or five years old, yeah. doing her newest song, okay? You two are just so magnificent. I just. I can't. I just. I, <laughs> I just love you so much, and uh, you said that you love Nicki Minaj, right? Yeah. Do you want to meet her? Yes! Come on out, Nicki! You have to see this little girl. She blew me away. Okay. <laughs> But I also want to take them on a shopping spree tomorrow. I want the album. I'll give you the album too. All right. Clean All version. Right. Down you see With the cool cooler system. When he come out of the club, he blows them up. Got that school debt like Steve Miller. Up. And he can't get real. He might get a deal. He bought balls and he got a rap kind of bill. He fall. He don't. He might still call. He always in the air, but I never blah, blah, Jim. Chip, 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 chip. Money, make a chip, chip, kiss him out. That's what I'm doing. How is it going? in the back of my mind like wait a minute what do we see Nicki Minaj what is kind of whore. image is that she's she is definitely a, a whore she's not even a hoe she's a whore <laughs> I shouldn't say that no but she's she's uh, uh, but, it's she okay. but she doesn't care about that but she's, she's not trying to be a role model but think about that man and you got her hugging your little kid hugging your little kid like, role model. I'm so happy that a my little kid hoe. got met by a, a super hoe <laughs> got to meet her super hoe <laughs> I do want to bring up Donna the what do you Conrad bring it up? Mary Trow. Okay. And Michael Jackson. Okay. Um, that things aren't going too well for my man Conrad Murray. Have well, you this? no, they're not. They're not. No. Yeah. Um, He'll probably go to jail. Yeah, he probably. Did, did you hear about? Did you I'm did sorry. you hear the tape? The tape. The of, new tape. No, I'm talking about the. Well, there's been a couple of the new slur releases. tape. The slur tape, man. That tape sounded ugly. It sounded very sad. Yeah. Well, he was on drugs. I mean, what do you expect? Well, you know, the question though, one, one has to ask themselves, Donna, is A, is why would Conrad Murray tape this in the first place? Yeah, I'm, I was wondering that too. Okay, was it because he. Did he ask to be taped? Was he doing it because. Maybe. Or was he doing it to protect himself later? Later? Saying, hey, yes, I did drug him and here's the proof. Ah, that seemed kind of stupid, <laughs> right? Or maybe <laughs> it seems very more likely because he was going to try to blackmail and do his tell all book. Months or uh, oh, yes, yeah, on. I yeah, why don't not? That. Why not? I don't believe that. Why not? Why would he do that? Why wouldn't he do that? The guy treated him great. He gave him two hundred thousand dollars a month. Yeah, hey, but when the check is when the check stop rolling, you gotta have another way of income, right? Well, he could write a book now. He's dead. No, but I'm saying he could. No, I'm saying he could say, do a mini series. He was his personal physician. And folks, if y'all didn't know, the dude was getting paid a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month. Plus extra money. A month. That's a good money. To be his personal physician. That's good money. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. I could live off that. I think I could live off that, too. I could live off Yeah. That. But I'm saying, but, you know, he taped them, and as we know, the tapes sounded just... So you think he's going to take those tapes awful. and turn it into a book? No, I think that might have been what was his original intent was. So... That's why he was recording. Why would so you why, record okay, the hey. guy So why would... If like that, that was man? the reasoning... Why would he leave those tapes there so the police could find him? He's how an come, idiot. How come he didn't take the tapes with him when he left? Because he he's an idiot. And, well, so what? Let him, let him, let him. He's going to jail. He's going to jail, Donna. Okay. Conrad Murray is going to jail. And he'll come jail. out and be bigger than he is now. He probably will. He'll have books, TV, movie rights. You're right about that. And that's not sad. He'll go to, 
Martha Stewart said it. He right. said, if I would have went to jail sooner, I'd have been happier because I'm richer now than I ever, ever was, was. Isn't going to prison. Man? Isn't that crazy? People love prisoners. I know somebody else who went to jail. And, and they're doing better now and they than they were before. before. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm boy. telling you, go to jail, you come out better. Oh, really? There you go. I'm not even going to touch that <laughs> one. This is too easy, man. This is too easy. I'm going to leave it alone.